Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the NVLDDMKM.SYS error you are experiencing on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, search for device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to now go ahead and expand the display adapter section, so double click on it. And then right click on your display adapter list under here, and you want to select where it says update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers, and then select let me pick from the list of available drivers on my computer. Select the manufacturer specific one, unless you only have a generic one, in which case you'll select it. And then do next to finish up the installation here. Give it a second. And once you're done with that, something else we're going to do is head back to the search menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt, right click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in power, CFG, space, minus sign H, space, off. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen here. So again, power, CFG, space, minus sign H, and then another space, off. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in control panel. Best match to come back with control panel. So go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons. And then you want to select power options. Select change plan settings next to whichever plan you're currently selected in here or have selected, and then you want to select change advanced power settings. You want to go down and locate the wireless adapter settings, click the little plus sign, and then do the same thing for power saving mode. There may be more than one down here, it might say something for on battery and plugged in, depending on if you're using a laptop or a desktop. And you want to set both of them to max performance, so make sure they're both set to max performance under here. If you have something that says on battery as well as plugged in, make sure they're both on. If you're on a desktop, you're going to see what you see on my screen here. It just says one option, so setting, and then we're going to set that to maximum performance. And then you're going to go ahead and select apply and OK. And you want to close out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.